Hi, I'm Nick Mendolia. Let's discuss data views in Infor Cloud Suite Industrial. Today we're going to show a high-level overview of data views in Infor Cloud Suite Industrial. Data views are a great way for an end user to create their own personalized reports without IT assistance. In our example, we're in the customer service home screen, so the data views that we're going to be looking at attached to this home page are going to be related to customer service information. However, there are over 400 existing data views within Cloud Suite Industrial that you can choose from. I'm going to go to my data views section, and you can see off the bat for this particular data view for customer orders, we have filters. I could filter by customer or status. I can add my own filters within the data view if I wanted to also, but this pre-built data view for customer service already has some filters for me. We're just going to choose all customers with a status of ordered. From a user standpoint, it's really easy because this is all of the data they need. There are lots of columns of data that come with the existing data view. However, the user can choose to modify this. They can choose which columns they want to see and turn off or hide uh, columns as desired. They can move columns around. So if they wanted their PO number next to their order number, they can do that. They can filter within the data view to add more filters than just the pre-built filters up top. They can select different layouts, which is pre-built forms based on the data view that they've modified. And we're going to do one really quick just to show how easy it is for an end user to do this without needing any help. So in this case, I moved a column. I could have gone and hid some columns, uh, but perhaps this particular data view, I want to group by salesperson. I'm going to simply just drag my salesperson column up top and that creates the grouping for me. And maybe all I want to do is for my total price column, get a summary. And of course, I could do other mathematical functions on a numerical column field. So I get a summary here. And after I save and refresh this data view, I'll see actual summaries at the group level also. So all I did was make a couple of quick changes as a user. So I'm just going to go ahead and save that and give it a name. And maybe I'll just call it Nick's salesperson report and I can choose to make it a default now this is nice here because the scope as a user it means that this change and this profile that I save is going to be for me or for if I have permission I can do it for other users however I can change it so that it's for site uh, meaning everybody that comes into this area will see this profile of, uh, of data view or by group uh, in this case, maybe it's a customer service group. I'm just going to leave it as myself as a user. And it lets me know that it saved that. The nice thing about data views is it's not just a report. It's actually a living report. So if I wanted to go and see the data behind what's in my report, I can simply right click and go to details to bring me to that customer order or I can go to job orders associated with it or any of these other linked documents to that particular record. And that's how easy it is for an end user to create reports within Cloud Suite Industrial with data views. Hope you enjoyed the video.